Hello guys, now I'm going to show how to make one of these cool iPod stands, okay? Now they're easy, really easy to make. It's just that really. So, um, hollow on the inside and it's made completely out of paper. Now, it's really good for alarm clocks, like I've got alarm clock pro here, which is I think 99p in the app store, or no, 59p in the app store and 99 cents. Um, sorry if the camera shakes a little bit because I've got my webcam and I've sort of like tied it around the top of my bed so it can face down because I've got a bunk bed. Okay, so what you're going to need for this, uh, look at, look at, look at this. Wee, wee. In case you're wondering, um, you get go on Cydia to get these. This is Infini Dark and this is Infini Board. And it says Jack up in the top right and left hand corner, right hand corner, left hand corner, whichever way you're looking at it. Um, and that's called Make It Mine. And as you, and this happens on the lock screen as well. So slide me Jack there. So that's pretty cool. And I've just got a neon Apple logo. And the thing that I'm on now is called Infini Dock. Uh, sorry, not Infini Dock. Um, Android Lock. Um, yeah, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take a piece of paper, and you're gonna take the top right hand corner and fold it down, okay? Just fold it down like that. And then you're gonna take this piece of paper, fold the whole sheet over, and you'll see where the line is. You can see the bottom half of the line, and just fold it on top of that, okay? So it's a nice fold. Okay. If one side's bigger than the other, just even it out, it don't matter. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna get your scissors and what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go along one side of it to make it a nice thin sharp crease, okay? So you can either cut this or I choose to rip it because it's a lot easier. And to be honest, I think it's more okay, it don't matter if you rip that bit there because as long as you start it off a little bit, good. I, t I usually use a ruler, but I've lost mine at school today, so just take it and cut it so it's nice and neat. Yeah, snip. Okay, and you're going to get a sheet of paper, and it's round about the size of a dollar bill, okay? It's maybe a bit bigger, maybe a bit smaller, but this is I like to choose. You're going to fold it in half. Once again, scissors, just take them and go along one side. Okay, and then you're going to flip it over so you've got the panel bits here. You're going to flip it over so they're now on this side. And you're going to fold this corner down and it's make sure that it is down on this side. And once again, with your scissors or ruler down there, take it fold it down this way so you've got something that looks like that so you're just taking it like that and you're folding it down once again scissors take that over and you're going to do the same on the other side you're just going to instead of turning it down this time you're going to turn it up and then you're going to flip it up now you should have something that looks like that you're going to open it up if you do it right, you'll get it the right way around. Take this panel here, and you're going to flip it behind, just so it don't get in your way. Now, this is the hardest bit, okay? You lie it flat, and pull these two up, okay? And when it's up like that, you're going to push them in together, okay? Okay, so I'm going to so I'm gonna do that again. You're going to take it down. You're going to pull them up, and push them in. If you have trouble with that, this is the main part. This is the hardest part, so... Just keep trying to do this. Don't matter if you use more paper because if you've done an okay cut, unlike me, you can cut this in half. Then um, you'll have about the same length. Um, and then what you're gonna do when you've got something like that, you're gonna take the and you're gonna turn it upwards, and you're gonna fold these up. Okay, so fold them up like that. So it was like that, 
hold them up. Okay, now you take the panels and you make a square with them. So it should look like that. And then you're going to fold them down. Okay, now this is a pretty easy bit. You take the panels up and across the back. So it's like that on the front, like that on the back. And you should see like a tiny little gap, but it's not that tiny, but it's in the middle, just here. And you're going to take these panels and flop them down. Okay, so you should have something that looks a little bit like that. That is on the underneath, that is on the top. Okay, now this time you'll be like, well, I've got a point facing towards me. This ain't going to work. So you're going to take it about um, just a little over halfway of the point and you're just going to push it down and just keep pushing. And you should get something that looks a little bit like that. And it's like, if you do it right, it's flat on the front, pointy on the sides. Oopsie. And then you're going to fold this bit up. And what's going there? And again. You got it. Scissors again. One more time. Just fold it. Okay. Now you're just going to like buff in the sides a little bit to how you want it to be. And then you should have something that eventually can hold your iPod touching. Now, it's really easy to make, and usual iPod touch is like, I've got my dock here. Now, this dock is a lot bigger, but it's got speakers in, and it just fits my iPod on top there. And to be honest, I don't really like that dock, because, well, I like it for playing music, but if you just put it back round, I'll show you why I prefer the other one. My mum, my mouse is in way. Jesus Christ. Okay. The reason why I like the other one is because on this one you can have it upwards like that. And you can make it bigger on either side as well. And you... That way. Like that. So it, I prefer to have it that way because I use it for my alarm. Now this one I spent a bit more time on. So it's more square. As you can see, this is like a round edges. But you just, sorry, you just got to flatten it out there, like that, and push it down a little bit. If you want, you can like, I don't know, glue it to the wall or something, and you can just put it inside. And they're really easy to make. So um, if you get the hang of it doing it once, you'll just get the hang of it over and over again. And I'll be giving a free one of these to the viewers. Will I yet? You can make your own. See you guys in a bit.